Welcome everybody to Rockingham, North Carolina, where we're here today for what would be the final NASCAR race at Rockingham, but in this universe, its legacy has only begun. Now let's not waste any time and get into the starting lineup. Starting on the pole, Will Parrish in the number zero and Dexter Black to his outside. Then we have Landon Daniel in the 12 and Avril Mead. Kirstein Clark in the number 80 as well as Ryan Aji. Samuel Davidson in the number 18 and Eric Olson in the number 30. Then we have Drake Cook in the number 77 as well as TJ Daner. Brian Scott Jr. in the next row and Lou Fisher Foster. Brian Scott Jr. did not compete in the Dona 500. Then we have Kyle Brown in the 31 and Osman Hamid in the 7. Fail Moscow in the 98 as well as Danny Simons. Haley Hayes in the number 91 and David Eschenbrenner. Kyle Brennan in the number 2 as well as Andrew Gettler. Aubrey Rettig last week's... Last race winner, and Colby Harris. Then we have Daniel Bouchard and J.J. Alkman. Zach Hoover, Hover, and Matthew Smith. Following Daryl Cunningham and Matthew Common. Parker King to his outside, the 99 of Buck Hoover. Then we have Doolittle Wallace and Eli Maggard in the 11. Riley Caldwell, another person who did not compete in the 500, and Joseph Turco. Then we have Seth Gambrell in the 24, as well as Nongon Scott. Jo Joshua Spears in the number 9, and Arthur Xavier. Then we see the 22 of Jack Speed and Kenneth Rakes. And rounding out the field, Addy Martinez and Lemuel Cook. Still about 10 seconds till we get the command. I have done some work on the Rockingham track guy and I filed. I don't know if it worked, but please tell me what I can do right after Driver, the command. start your engines! So what I did is I bumped up the line modifier a little bit, as well as lowering the drafting distance to 1.1. I don't know if that evened out the cars. But if you have any suggestions for me in future races, please, 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 please leave them below. As they get taken off, Aubrey Rettig is now celebrated as the first official winner of Winston Returns. about to get the green flag. His car is down and we are ready to go green. Green flag in the air. Will Parrish leads us off. And immediately Kirstein Clark is making it a three wide race for second. Avril Mead might have gone a short run, but I don't know if it'll be able to make a pass. As Kirstein is trying to draft the zero. And they're already crashing. There goes the 98 of Ville Moscow. Ninety-eight of Vail Mosco already around. And there's another one, Seth Gambrell. Well, talk about some start. We already have a caution.
No, we're just gonna do a replay of El Nasco. In the four wide, I knew that change was going to do something. I didn't know it was going to be this drastic. It was at line modifier was at 1.04. And 19 is shoved into the wall. And then Veil spins, creating a roadblock. Kyle Brennan hits him. Looks like he scratched the side of the 17, and then Parker King slams into the 98, as well as Doolittle Wall, sliding the 96 scratched by him. And then there was also the 24. Looks like he was coming down the pit road. That's what I'm assuming. And it just came right back up the track into Joshua Spears in a nine. Actually, Wallace does slam in the nine as well. And Seth, I think, gets to the back of the 48 of Doolittle Wallace. Oh no, Nonagon Scott gets him. We're gonna watch from the 29 of Nonagon Scott. Try this again. Green flag is out. Will Parrish jumps on it. Kirstein Clark is trying to get up there. Clark's gonna make a move to the bottom or not. Dexter is going to the inside of Clark.
checking that for this area. Looks like Haley Hayes letting 19 through. That's her teammate. Blue Fisher Foster. He failed to qualify for the 500. Now battling with the 97 of David Eschenbrenner. Checking back with the leaders. It looks like Meade is trying to get to the inside of Kirstein, but he slash she blocks him. four drivers. by the entire field for you. Zayrol Mead, now the mom of Dexter Black. Coming to Pit Road.
on the 42. DJ Daner is also trying to get up there. Looks like Dexter fights off Landon. makes the move for second. TJ Daner has moved up to fifth. Coming around for a 10 laps to go. Mead is slowing down a bit. Ten laps to go, coming around for nine.
Pearson and Clark is trying to draft to catch the 46. Could potentially see a last lap battle. But she's he slash she has seven laps to do it. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Looks like Kirstein lost a little bit of ground. Six laps to go. On board with Kirstein Clark. to go for Avril Mead. Two laps to go. White flag, one more lap to go. I don't think Kirsten Clark can make up that amount of space to clear the 46. And Avril Mead coming off a of turn four. And Avril Mead will win the Subway 400 at Rockingham. I'm sorry that this race was very boring. I really didn't know how to reprogram the track so that way it ran kind of like the Daytona 500. Pretty much anybody could have won that race. But I had to do something to get it out. So, thank you for watching, but before we go, we have to do the check of point standings. Kirstein Clark now holds the points lead, followed by Samuel Davidson, then Dexter Black, Landon Daniel, Danny Simons, Ryan Aji, Adi Martinez. Then Buck Hoover, then TJ Daner, then Ryle Bouchard, which rounds out your top ten. But join us next time for the UA UAW Dimer Chrysler 500. I mean 400.